What's up guys, I'm Sean the Bro, here again for another programming tutorial. This time we're actually focusing on how to get Unreal assets, or assets that you find online like in Mixamo, or that someone gives you, and put them into your Unreal project. Uh, to get started here, you see this is where we left off in the fighting game tutorial. Um, if you want to check that out, I'll include an iCard up in the top right corner. You can click on that and check out how we got to here and where we're going with it. But uh, if you're here just for getting the assets in, then let's get started on that. So, uh, it might you might have realized it's a little bit harder than you'd probably think right off the bat to include uh, new characters, new models, meshes, animations, any of that stuff for someone that ha isn't in Unreal and you're just reading it in from an FBX file or some other uh, animation slash mesh file. So. Let's get started on getting the character, where you can get the character, and we'll put them in after that. So you saw I have the mutant from Mixamo right here. I will link the uh, the site Mixamo.com in the description. Once you sign on to Mixamo, it'll show you your stuff here. Uh, once you sign in, it'll automatically bring you this page if you if you just go to the link in the description. Um, and then it, you'll either be on characters or animations. I believe it saves the last one you were on. I just happen to be on characters. So start with a character you want to get. Uh, these are all free use, assuming you're not trying to sell these again. You're, you know, you're not trying to claim them as your own or sell them, make money off of them in any way. So you can use these in your projects. As far as I understand it, you can also use these on your projects if you're making money. But there's a little bit more that goes into it. I'm pretty sure you have to be careful with that because the fact that the characters aren't all yours. So I would reach out or talk to a professional before using them in a project that you're going to put up for, um, you know, for more than the value of free on the store of your choosing. But I'm pretty sure, I've definitely seen these in paid games before, uh, usually like 99 cent games, nothing huge, but I don't know if that's legal or not. So. Anyway, let's let's get started because these are mainly meshes for you to use uh, to practice with to make your games look a little bit better. We use them in Fury Strike, so they're all over the place. They're really great. Uh, so let's see the next character we want in the fighting game. The Parasite's good. There's a few pages here. I think there's up to three pa uh, pages of characters. All right, so say we're gonna add this character to the project. So who is she? Akai e Esperito, Esperitu. Uh, yeah, I don't necessarily know what that means. If that's the person who made it, and they're putting their name in there, it's most likely the character name. That's what these are supposed to be. But sometimes people put their own names in there. Like in this case, this looks like exactly the same. Erica Archer with bow arrow. So basically the same character, if not the exact same character, but without the... Yeah, she doesn't have the bow in this one. Anyway, uh, say we're going to put her in the game. This is the character you decided on. So all you're going to want to do is you're going to want to download that character. That's simple, right? With For the format, uh, keep FBX. FBX is very easily on it. Or red in by Unreal. So I would just keep that. You see I have other options, but why would you when it reads it in so well? You can use either of these. I normally use T-Pose because T-Pose is what I'm used to working with outside of Unreal 2. You won't have to do anything with it, but it's just kind of how it displays in the like the original mesh when you download it, how it's displayed in Engine and what contents it has. We're going to download it like that. You just wait for it to download. Pretty simple on that part of it. And then you can go to the animations file. You see I already downloaded some very recently. Let's get an animation that we want to use on her, just to demonstrate. Um, she doesn't really look like... Well, maybe. Although this one has some root motion. Which we could probably stop. <laughs> Keeps coming closer and closer. Um, I think there's a way to stop root motion right on here. I know There's definitely a way to do it on real. But let's start with one that doesn't move. Um, hip hop dancing? It's a pretty good one. Still doesn't really fit her, but I guess it doesn't matter for this. 
case. <laughs> okay. Yeah, we'll use that one for now. I, I don't think that fits her, but uh, it's fine. So we're going to download this file as well. Now, for the frames per second, uh, that can be whatever you want for your current, you know, your main characters or active characters. You probably want that to be 60. Keyframe reduction can be none. Skin with skin is fine. Format, FBX. So all your stuff's basically going to be fine off the bat. But the important part here is that the format's in the same. If for whatever reason you can't work with FPX, FBX or you're not getting your animations and or model from Mixamo or some source like this, make sure your formats are the same on the on the are the same on the files. It's very important that can actually cause a mismatch and some incompatibility if they're not. So keep that. Uh, this would be if you wanted just the animation without the mesh. That would be fine. Uh, honestly, it's probably better to do it that way. I'm used to doing it with the mesh. That's just the way I learned it when I learned Unreal, so I've kept that with me. And then keyframe reduction, I'm going to be completely honest and say I don't even really know what that does. Obviously, it removes keyframes. Thanks. But uh, maybe it uniform is like a, at certain timestamps throughout the file that are in uniform, but I don't know. And the fact that I'm saying I don't know means I'm not going to touch it, right? Download. You should get this pretty soon. They're not that big of files either. Okay, now you see I have some other ones in here that I started with, um, but I want to do a, a completely fresh one so that you guys can see the whole process. Now we're gonna make a new folder in here. I call it Archer. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wanna import our uh, new files. Can I find Chrome for a second? You know, I want to import these files. So they're in my downloads, as they will be with you, most likely. Um, these are the two that I want. I'm going to copy them for now, because I clean up all my stuff a little bit. Uh, whoops. Clean up all my stuff a bit differently than where Unreal wants me to do it, but for this purpose, it's fine. Now, you could import them from your downloads. I would highly recommend putting them in your project. Uh, oh, and it looks like you don't even have to hit import if they're already in here while the engine is open. So that was my bad. I didn't need to do that. But if you hit import or if you just drag it in, this box should come up. That's the important part. I would recommend dragging them in or copying them over to the file in your file explorer as opposed to uh, the one in Unreal. Simply because Unreal has a lot of issues with renaming things and redirecting files. They're pretty easy to get around, to be honest, but they're just annoying. So it's just easier to do it this way a lot of the time and skip a lot of renaming and things like that. Okay, now that we've done that, um, you can import con a content type as geometry and skinning weights. I've had this before where this wasn't selected by default. I don't know what causes that. So if that's not selected by default, you're gonna want that selected by default, or you're gonna wanna select that. Because this will, the mesh could look a little weird, or the, yeah, the mesh could look a little weird if there's different weights and paints on there. And if you don't know what weights are, don't really worry about it for this episode. I already happen to have the Mixamo skeleton, but since I did it with the skin, I don't want to put the, the mutant mesh on our new character. So I'm going to leave that skeleton in none. Everything else can stay the same, and I'm going to import all. And then this is the animation, and we're going to use the new skeleton that we just generated. And import all. You might get some warnings in here about some F FBX import, and I think I am. It looks like Unreal is just like frozen right now. Come on, buddy. The rest of my computer's fine. I think I, I might I might have crashed Unreal. Come back to me, Unreal. Okay, so I think I actually did crash Unreal. So that's one thing that you're not you're gonna want to avoid. Honestly, I try to avoid that when possible. Uh, we're gonna have to close this bad boy real quick. Um, anyway, I'll leave this open because I'll talk to you while we're getting set back up here. 
So, interesting. So fighting game doesn't even come up in my search bar anymore. <laughs> wow. If things went wrong, needless to say. What the heck happened here? All right, guys. We did it. We made it back. We made it. It didn't crash. I've never seen it take that long, so I apologize. I was going to cut the video there, but I'm going to leave it because don't get scared if you see that happen because you saw I got scared because I've never seen it take that long on any of the characters I put in any of my games. So, yeah, apparently that's okay if it does that. Now, I honestly want to organize this a little bit more. This is just for the fighting game template. I do it on this channel. So, you know, I just kind of put these in here. But, <clears throat> excuse me. I've got a little bit of a dry throat today. But, you can see the skeletal mesh here. If you double click it, it will show you what your character looks like. There are things you can do here. I'm not going to go over them today. But, um, yeah, that's, wow. Does she even have an iris? Yeah, she does. It was just hard to see. <laughs> Okay, we're going to close that. So, you know, if she looks like that, then she's good. You, If you have any other issues where the bones aren't working, like she's, you know, in 80 different pieces or she's clear or things like that, a lot of times that's an issue with the import. So delete everything and try importing again. If it still doesn't work, try a different file. Make sure that you have the process down. And then maybe that file that you have, that other file you had was just broken. Okay, lastly, let's talk about getting our animations working on the mesh and then, you know, showing that on a character in-game. So, now we have, I believe it's this one. They're named a little bit weird off Mixamo, I gotta admit. But this is her idol, that's fine. But it, when you click on the skeleton, it'll show you assets in the asset browser. Oh, uh, I realize this is not windowed appropriately. Here we go. You'll notice assets in the asset browser down here that uh, work with all the ones in that directory and all the ones that have that that work with that skeleton. So if we do hip hop dancing, for example, here we go. And again, they're named weird, so you need the mixmo.com one. The take 001 is their default. But when you double click the animation, you see it is applied to the mesh appropriately. And she's over there doing her hip-hop dancing. You don't have to save this. I usually do because the little star annoys me. And you can do stuff like add anim notifies like I talk about in my other, uh, in my last fighting game tutorial episode. Go check that out if you want to see more about that. But now you've successfully imported uh, meshes and animations into your project. So the last thing to do if you wanted to do it, uh, to do anything with it, would be to put it on your character. So we can't do it because the mesh is different, or I might be able to show it. I don't think she'll be able to do anything. Yeah, because of course her blueprint isn't set up, but I can show the mesh. Um, so there you go. And now you have your mesh in game. And if you want to apply your animations to it, then you can go look at that other episode that I mentioned earlier. I know I'm recommending it a lot, but in this case, it is one that is very fitting for... It's kind of a counterpart to this episode. I actually made the other episode using stuff that I just talked about in this episode so that I could link them together because they kind of need to be... If you want to do anything more than just import it, you're kind of going to need the knowledge from both of them. So there you go. And that's how you can get meshes, free meshes online, uh, free animations online, and you have a lot of them, let me tell you and how you can get them into your Unreal project successfully. That's all for today, guys. I really hope you enjoyed watching. I'm Sean the Bro. If you subscribe, you'd make my whole night, for real. I get so happy when I see uh, new subscribers coming in. I appreciate that you guys are enjoying the content and liking what I'm trying to teach you. I have a bunch of other programming videos on the channel. I'll link at the outro here. But if you guys liked, uh, yeah. Please check me out. Please subscribe. And let me know what questions you have in the comments. I'll gladly help you. If you get any issues when importing, I'll get you all set up. Just comment. I'll answer you as soon as I can. Thanks for watching, guys. I'm Sean the Bro, and I'll see you in the next episode.